Hi, everybody. Welcome to When Calls the Hallmarkies. And this is the show where we like to talk all about When Calls the Heart. And we are here for the finale uh, of season 11, episode 12. It's Anything for Love is the name of the episode. And we're going to be talking all about it. Plus, we are going to just talk about our feelings about the season as a whole. And it's going to be super fun. We definitely want to hear from all of you. What do you think? How did you feel? And I'm film critic Grace Wagner and Caroline's here. Hey. And Mary's here. Hello. Yay. This episode, it's called Anything for Love. And it is, uh, the summary is Nathan and Elizabeth exchange secrets. Rosemary and Lee pitch Lucas an idea for the future of Hope Valley. So Caroline, overall, what did you think about this finale? And, uh, and we'll go a little bit more into the season as a whole, but what do you think about the finale? I thought it was a solid finale. Like it had a little bit of everything for everybody. And mm-hmm. I was just, I was so happy for, for Hickam, yeah, especially. Yeah. yeah in may but it's just it's been sure. nice seeing Hickam get his romance because because mike he's been on the show from the very beginning right season one mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah so it is really nice to mm-hmm. see him uh him have a happy ending uh mm-hmm. you know happy uh, to have a happy uh wedding it's very fun mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. and mary what about you what do you think about the finale yeah, super fun. I, it'd be completely because of of May and Michael, the hiccups being that whole thing was so sweet. And then seeing some of our other favorite characters have some good moments and then diving right into the deep end of this romance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> blushing a little bit in some of this. I might be watching this. Yeah. Ooh. We were like, they're making up for lost Ooh. time. <laughs> They haven't kissed for five seasons, and now it's like we got to have one for each season. <laughs> they heard us saying, like, they don't have any clips for the Nathan and Elizabeth um, videos. <laughs> and like, yeah. We, yeah, we got Longing you. look montages. Finally got mm-hmm. some material. <laughs> Yeah, I y'all know I'm a prude. I said y'all because Caroline's wearing, wearing, wearing. <laughs> she's coming on me, but, but so I don't watch Bridgerton. And this time, I'm like, oh, there, oh, that's another kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are happy. They are yeah. in yes. love and happy. It's like they had a magnet the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it starts that she doesn't want to kiss in front of Lil Jack, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I mean, I guess I could, I can understand that. But yeah. also, <laughs> how long are you going to, I mean, how long are you going to be able to keep this up? You got to, you got to, uh, I mean, he's old enough. Like he would just probably be like, ew, gross. Mm-hmm. I know. That's what my kids that do. When my husband and I get, give it like a kiss goodbye or whatever. And they're like, eh, stop it. And then just move on. <laughs> well, especially at that age. What, what do you, what do you figure? Uh, little Jackie's six, five, six. six? But, yeah. Something he was like born that. in. Yeah, he was born in twenty nine. No, I forget. Yeah, <laughs> season six. Yeah, season yeah. six. So it's been, mm-hmm. yeah, that. So uh, then, uh, but it was also really funny when Rosemary sees Nathan. Just, yeah. Oh, Rosemary! Like <laughs> that whole thing. <laughs> it was a door. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> But she's seen it, they're time. smiling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course yeah. she's telling Rosemary first. Like, of course. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised she it. wasn't looking out the out the window when they were when they had their moment. And mm-hmm. the, the, the <laughs> end of last yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Then we see Lucas and he's reading the front page uh, uh front page of the was that the Benson Beetle or I forgot to, of the newspaper. Yeah, or the Chronicle. Mm-hmm. Or a few Something papers. Like he's that. Looking at a few. The governor's sorted past with notorious femme fatale exposed. <laughs> that was funny. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, it's Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to read it. I wish they'd written like a full article that we could just yeah. read, you know, see what that said. I do too. That would be fun. And he says, how can I be an effective governor when I can't even trust my own judgment? Hmm. How can you be an effective governor when you're just hanging out in Hope Valley? Yeah. But... <laughs> right. Yeah. Capital <laughs> City needs their yeah. governor. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I think that also like it's not a dictatorship 
you know, like other people are involved in all of these decisions, especially something like building a resort and stuff. Like he right. can't bully it to fruition. Like he has to work with other people and, you know, and that's what a good leader, you know, does is, uh, is, is delegate but also inspire other people to then make their own decisions and it's just it's a collaborative a collaborative thing <laughs> being a leader especially with something like a province uh here and uh and they, but he's feeling said, frustrated they said that someone was telling lies about him like about lucas and that another episode i can't remember which one mm -hmm. i wish he would have found out who was spreading all those i know lies. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, was it Jeanette? Mm -hmm. Was it Jeanette? Yeah. Seems like it was Jeanette. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Mike says, I'm supposed to be nervous, but I'm just so happy. Adorable. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Yes. And he, they, they only have wedding bands, him and May, but not an engagement ring. And he feels conflicted about that. And I mean, my mom... She's just always had the one band. My mom's never had an engagement ring and a band. I mean, a lot of people do that. Whereas my I mom's only have... not really a like a jewelry person. So I just, I just realized I <laughs> I took it off because I was out gardening. But I only have my engagement ring. It was a thicker band, so I didn't have mm. to get a wedding band with it. So I yeah. think some people might do either or, like they just right. continue wearing their diamonds the rest of their life, or others might get a band mm -hmm. that then goes with it or you know i just have these plastic ones for like gardening and yeah i know a lot of but, people do that too yeah you don't want to get damaged or exercise yeah mm -hmm. that sort of thing or traveling um, people don't or people don't wear their yeah their i don't diamonds. wear my diamond when i'm traveling yeah it's just these yeah or sometimes ones. they'll get one of those rings at walmart you know those fake fake rings oh yeah yeah like a cube <laughs> i did that when i was pregnant and my ring didn't fit it was like this cubic mm. zirconium like yeah pink. that's smart because <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh i can fit it over my knuckle um <laughs> so in this case that was kind of sweet because didn't he mention when he proposed oh i don't have a ring but it was just like all of a sudden like wait a minute your brother's gonna be in town yeah i want i want to mm -hmm. marry you let's and she was like it's fine it's fine but he wants to take care of his girl yeah she seems like the type of that didn't really care about yeah. Like the, yeah the ring anyway so i think it's sweet that he still wanted to do it for mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and I, I think it's india where they don't where they do the necklaces in, instead of the rings uh no. i don't know i can't remember what they do in china but i i feel like i remember that but uh but uh it was nice the way that they tried to kind of bring in uh her culture as much oh as they i could, know i think i love that so sweet. I Mm -hmm. I I about well I might get to this later in the synopsis but when they are coming down the street with the drums and the music and mm. the, I just <laughs> something came over me I thought this is so beautiful to say this is who you are this is a part of your culture and we are combining these and her red dress everything yes. I loved it mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Amanda I, did an interview Amanda uh -huh. did an interview after the wedding and stuff and she was saying how it it was so sweet that the writers really incorporated the Chinese culture. And mm -hmm. that was very sweet that they, yeah, they wow. did that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was saying Caroline in the last episode that uh, I was watching this uh, tasting history. He's a really good uh, YouTuber. He's very interesting. He makes very good videos and he always cooks a recipe and then does the history behind the recipe. And that's uh, cool. Yeah, it's a really good channel. And uh, anyway, he was doing, he's been doing some on the Old West and he was talking about how they, there were so many of the, uh, the chefs were from these minority groups at that time. You know, there were, so there were a lot of like Chinese chefs, Mexican chefs, things like that. And so like the, the food was surprisingly diverse that you wouldn't expect. Like when you think oh. like, old west right mm -hmm. but yeah. like that that like chop suey he mentioned was like actually pretty popular because when they were first uh having her you know cook all these meals i was like they wouldn't have all those ingredients and stuff like that but but after watching that video i'm like no they maybe they would they would mm -hmm. have had yeah. you know because there were yeah. a lot of chinese people that were uh you know over here for the railroad and for other stuff like that 
And uh, so I, 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 I thought that was pretty interesting that, that maybe cool. it wouldn't be that wild to be able to get all these different things that they had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? The ingredients so, and mm-hmm. yeah. And the dress and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. The especially, paper lanterns, all yeah, of that. So especially because mm-hmm. they had Fiona coming in from Nashville. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's a pretty long journey. So she might have been able to, I'm sure she helped them to be able to get the dress because she brings the dress in. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. That's yeah. true in the box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. It's the Hallmarkies Patreon. Do you love Hallmarkies podcast, especially at Christmas? Do you enjoy the holiday previews, recaps, interviews, and bonus episodes? If the answer is yes, please consider supporting the Hallmarkies Patreon. We need your help to do what we do both during the Christmas season and all year round. But not only do you help a podcast led by strong, independent women by becoming a Patreon, you get to become a part of the Hallmarkies family. Starting at only $2 a month as a patron, you will have access to our Facebook Patreon group where we talk about the movies, shows, and more all year. We also have many monthly patron watch-alongs with guests like Lacey Chabert, Natalie Hall, Paul Campbell, Mary Lou Henner, and more, giving their behind-the-scenes details of their films. As a patron, you also have the chance to provide input into the podcast and even join us at different tiers. So this Christmas season, spread some cheer to the Hallmarkies Patreon and become a member today. You won't regret it. Go to patreon.com slash Hallmarkies to learn more. That's patreon.com slash Hallmarkies. So funny because they, <laughs> Hallmark's just so weird because <laughs> they, uh, they showed Fiona in the preview going forward. And then all this whole week on social media, they're like, who's the guest? Who's yes. the And I'm like, you, you literally told us who the guest is like. And it made me think, are they going to surprise us with some with other another guests one? Yeah, so that we're, we're not like, expecting for this wedding or whatever? And yeah. uh, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Um, it, there's Only something Hallmark. to be said for your crop, you know, like you're teasing ahead and all that, but also knowing yeah. your audience. And most of this audience, I think, is looking at everything they can and, and has yeah. watched the previews. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's right at the end of the episode. Like, how could you not watch it? <laughs> Maybe they forgot. Well, we forgot we told them. Let's tease them. Who's coming? <laughs> Unless they met the brother, yeah. but we knew in last episode the brother was coming. It was only in this episode that they said, oh, no, he can't come. Yeah. And then he could. So, Which is true. Yeah. really sweet. I loved that, you know, Mike's on it. As soon as he hears, oh, no, she's not happy Let's about this. She's sad. Uh, he's uh, he's going to go make it happen. What a man. What? Yeah, okay. that's what we like to see. Everyone needs a hickam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we have Minnie making the cake. Oh, mm-hmm. so Darling. Very Beautiful. Sweet and fun. Mm-hmm. It was a real team effort. And mm-hmm. uh, I think that's sometimes kind of lost in, you know, I famously am not usually a fan of wedding movies. And it's because they, you know, the characters can be really petty and selfish and it can you just they they create conflict that would never be conflict but i love like twinkle all the way is a wedding movie that i absolutely love uh where they uh, in that movie they get snowed in they're not gonna be able to get to the wedding and they're at the school and what do they do they all pull together and they make this wedding for her for the bride and the bride's like this is so amazing thank you so much mm-hmm. and she's just wonderful and they get pass out all these bells which have oh. significance to the to the in the story and and then it the she always dreamed of being married in uh front of this view of the mountains and he the the lead guy he paints a view that's right that she can yes. stand behind she's like oh look at the view so that's that's the kind of wedding that i that's like, when it's like it becomes this community kind of event mm-hmm. and it's very heartwarming and very sweet and mm-hmm. and that's what we got kind of here like everybody's pitching in everyone wants it to be good everyone loves this couple mm-hmm. there's no like uh there's just no pettiness or or whatever it's yeah like, yeah and we know the whole time that they're gonna be okay even though yeah. they're like where's where's mike we know right we know the whole time it's gonna be fine. yeah because everybody's because rallied of- mm-hmm. yeah when Castle Heart really does weddings well, they do. I, all all of their weddings have been for yeah. It's true. I I would probably have 
three or four wedding episodes on my top 10 list close Mm -hmm. i mean Mm -hmm. i think peak when calls the heart are either the christmas specials which i wish they still did and the and the wedding ones Mm -hmm. those are really good those i know romance wins and it's just such a beautiful thing for me to yeah. see this um the support of this institution and these characters that we love with happy endings yeah. into my Cause, veins because <laughs> i was thinking what is my favorite episode of when calls the heart and i forgot that i forgot that the episode where jack saves opal is oh. is the wedding episode mm-hmm. i think that is definitely that is my favorite episode then yeah, that's, that's so good. Serious. I was thinking it was the episode before the wedding, but but uh, mm-hmm. but everybody was saying that it's the the wedding episode. But but that is that's that's a really great episode. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. So. Uh. Yeah. So she's making the cake, and the cake was really pretty when they mm-hmm. they just got a quick look at it. But it was really nice with the white cascading frosting on the side, and the yeah, it's nice. Mm-hmm. So, and the symbol on top that the brother brings. Oh yeah. Um, that was, yeah. What does it mean? D- double happiness. Is oh that yeah. What he said? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That he's and for the finishing touch, and he puts it on yeah. top. Yeah. For your wedding, Mary, what kind of cake did you have? Carrot cake. Oh. That my mother-in-law made, and her friend made, who's a great baker, and oh, it was so good. I do mm. remember the taste, even though the rest of the day is kind of a blur. <laughs> and then my mother-in-law froze the top tier for us, but forgot about it. Oh no! <laughs> I kid you not. It was like years later. She's like, "What was in the bottom of my freezer?" And we were like, "I don't know if we should try that," because it was kind of like misshapen. And yeah, we were like, "That's so sweet." It's been many, many years. <laughs> Even in the best of circumstances, I feel like that doesn't usually turn out well because it's like dry <laughs> after like, a year. This might not be. Yeah, well, it was. Why is that a tradition? I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what it, it probably is is because cakes used to be more like fruit cakes oh yeah and you it know preserved, and, be preserved. Yeah. yeah and so like it, for a fruit cake with all the dried uh dried fruit and alcohol and stuff like that then it would get better after, over a year that's true you would actually yeah. want it to and so i think that's probably how it got started is is that uh that used to be yeah. what cakes were but thankfully we've sh- we've uh, <laughs> we've improved well, and i was lately. thankful that when he fed her the bite there was no smashing of cake oh I, we, I agree right before with my husband and i were like we are not going to do that i don't care if other people think it's funny just no. a nice little bite there's no smashing no i mm-hmm. i agree i'm team not smashing and and, and mike he fed her so gently and, yeah you know, so <laughs> oh, you, you so have cute. only you're only gonna wear that dress one time i don't want it to get all messy <laughs> and your hair and makeup has been yes. done perfectly yeah yeah. yeah. And, and I don't know. I just don't like it. Me I don't either. know. I guess some couples are, they're that kind of personality and they're super cute and funny together. Mm-hmm. Maybe that works, but I was just glad to see a beautiful yeah. image of our bride and groom eating cake daintily. Yeah. Especially <laughs> for one calls the heart. You you don't want yeah. cake it's smashing. Not tone. Yeah. No. Uh, so, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was fun to see Fiona back mm-hmm. being gone. This, this is no, the my, big guest star. My, my husband was like, he's like, remind me, because he hasn't been watching it many seasons with me. He's like, were she and Mike that good of friends that she would, instead of being on the bride's side, like a bridesmaid, she was the best maid, like best. Were they that close, Mike and Fiona? And I'm forgetting. I wondered that too. I was like, what? Why would that he? She, yeah, like, that she would stand as a best man, best kind of. Man. Like, I would think that he would be the best man to Mike. I guess they were kind of, kind of close, especially, was it season through their work Eight? together and... yeah mm-hmm. but closer and than he kind of liked her and he liked her sort of mm-hmm. kind of yeah. remember that? i was surprised by that too because him and lee are such good friends and he worked for him for so long yeah even if he didn't pick lee i thought he was gonna pick lucas too mm-hmm. like yep. maybe have double yep. best man. yeah yeah Did that was lucas that was interesting he was remember. there yeah he was, a he was there in mm-hmm. groomsman yeah down in the line yeah um and then uh, so let's see here where are we so then rosemary's upset with bill and bill apologizes and the thing is though is that if if things were reversed rosemary would have acted exactly like bill 
Oh, yeah. She would have kept yeah. the secret, too. She wouldn't have told but, Bill. No, that was a little weird. But then I think she does calm down and kind of say, okay, I understand why this happened this way. <laughs> he is a lawman. And he... Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he, he doesn't want Rosemary to get hurt. It's not because he doesn't want her to know. It's because of he was wanted to protect her. Well, and he so was in confidence. It. And if anything, she should understand that. Mm-hmm. You know, so. But we all have our petty moments, so it was fine. <laughs> um, then we also have, uh, so Elizabeth has suggested to Angela about the school for the blind in Hamilton and uh, and that she could basically kind of like work there like go to school mm-hmm. there like men- mentor the other kids and uh, and so Minnie's upset about that and upset with Elizabeth for suggesting it and uh, I mean I guess I could kind of understand I don't know how do you feel about that Mary as a parent what do you think yeah I thought because first I'm like why is she getting so mad and you have to look deep down for the reason the reason probably is, oh my goodness, my girl is growing up and I will miss her if she leaves. Uh-huh. It's not necessarily that, oh, Elizabeth betrayed me by talking about the school, which maybe she might have felt a little bit about that. But um, but that idea of, hey, here's where you can leave the nest. First, I'd be like, wait, they're not, she's not ready. You know, she's so protective of her at the same time uh-huh. trying to help her be an independent young woman as she's growing older, yeah. you know, being blind. So she I felt make- that. It kind of made me wonder, is is Angela off the show? Is, oh, you know, as she's getting older, could she, yeah, would she yeah, then maybe leave she wants the to show? Do other stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, I think they got a couple years know. before they graduate. I think it was like oh. first she could be a te- so she could be a teacher for other children that are blind. That was like a teacher's college, but for, specifically for people yeah. to learn how to teach for blind children. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that just kind of made me wonder. I'm like, maybe she, you know, she's so talented that she uh, is. Oh. I could see. I don't want to think about any of the kids leaving. I know, like Allie sad. getting older. I know Allie, I know. Angela, all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Opal. I know, Opal. and they used Opal so little this season. She was barely in any scenes. I know. We have a new little Opal now. I know, <laughs> but uh, it'd be nice if they gave like a grown up arc for Ava Grace. She's so good. Mm-hmm. She deserves it. She she really does. We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. It's Harlequin Publishing and bestselling author Rayanne Thane and her new book, 15 Summers Later. 15 summers ago, everything changed. Ava Howe had it all. True love, bestselling memoir, and a life far away from Emerald Creek. But a hidden secret from her past shattered her perfect world. Now she's back home facing the only person who truly understands. Madison Howell has built a life she loves running a no-kill animal shelter and secretly pining for the town veterinarian, Dr. Luke Gentry. But a secret haunts them both. The Howell sisters must confront their past to heal their future. Can they mend the rifts in their lives and find solace together? Experience the power of resilience, family, and love in 15 Summers Later by Ray and Thane. The perfect beach read for anyone needing a story of hope and healing. Now available wherever books are sold or by using the affiliate link below. That's 15 Summers Later by Ray and Thane. We know you'll love it. Their picnic, which was cute. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> they finally and got Allie. a date together. Yeah, Allie, let's go pick blackberries. We really need to pick blackberries. <laughs> And how excited Jack was when, whenever like Nathan was trying to like make it like an actual date and mm-hmm. like not have the children, and he was so excited. And then Nathan's like, "How can we not do this now?" <laughs> it was cute. Yeah, yeah. And and, uh, and then Nathan asks Elizabeth to be his date to the wedding, and she says, "Well, I have to tell Jack about it first, uh, about this first, uh, before an actual, I guess, official date." <laughs> Mm-hmm. yeah yeah so he's not like wait a minute you know what's <laughs> happening yeah i mean i don't think jack would really i don't know if he really understands the intricacies of dating versus like oh mom's sitting next to nathan at the wedding you know like i don't think he'd get it but uh but you need to have that conversation eventually so it's i think deep down is mainly maybe not for like jack necessarily mm-hmm. maybe like for lucas maybe she didn't want to like just you know taunt her not taunt her romance but you know yeah oh that's true that's a good point yeah that's true so 
Lee suggests that they make the area. So Lee suggests they make the area where they were going to have the resort into a national park. And I did find out that there are 37 national parks in Canada. You and me both were Googling. (laughs) So I was like, when was the first national park in Canada? (laughs) I didn't look up that when the first one was. But uh, but I, I did look that it says there are 37 national parks and 10 national park reserves in Canada that represent 31 of Canada's 39 terrestrial natural regions and protect approximately 336,343 square kilometers of Canada's lands. So wow. Yeah, Banff was established in 1885 oh, as the first, okay. Canada's first national park. There we go. And it said originally it was called Banff Hot Springs Reserve. So I thought, oh, oh Hot Springs. Oh, hot Springs. There we go. <laughs> and now the Rocky Mountains National Park. So I was, because I thought, oh, I want to catch them out. But they've done their homework. This was obviously <laughs> would, would have been okay for this time. There are no Yellow governors, was, but there were national parks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at this point in, in the roaring 20s. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so basically, Jack Jr. thinks that they're like really boring. <laughs> like, I don't that care about so you. so funny. <laughs> He's such a good like, little bad. Yeah. And then He's this so whole cute. thing where the best story that they can, that <laughs> their secret, that, that Elizabeth kissing a potato. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> And I mean, she wanted I guess, to be so funny. She wanted yeah. to be like a hilarious thing that Nathan brings the. Oh, serious. Yeah. Nathan evidently doesn't have any funny stories. (laughs) He's a real downer. Not like hers. No, because he says that he almost took the job in Union City. uh, Be that he had been asked to be assigned to Hope Valley to take care of and and watch over Elizabeth after Jack died. Yeah. And she she says you are not responsible for what happened. And uh, then they both say, I love you. So that was nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so people are getting real upset about Lucas. <laughs> people are saying, you need to resign. All of this stuff. And, uh, you know, he's it's, he's very conflicted about it. Don't resign yet, Lucas. No. Keep going. Yeah, and then Hickam is gone. May is freaking out. Rosemary's upset. It's all. <laughs> yeah. Where she's like, he doesn't have cold feet. He has the warmest feet. <laughs> yeah. And then Rosemary pulls it together and she says, she says, you will have your grandchildren rolling in laughter when you tell them about your wedding day. That was very That's true. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, she gets in her dress, traditional Chinese dress. There's the processional. Mike is there he's got the wedding ring and the engagement ring and surprise her brother yay <laughs> but then she gives him a hug and then like has only eyes for her groom i was like did yeah. you want to talk to your brother or anything? But I think she was like oh you're here squeeze Michael. that's the thing <laughs> that's always a struggle about weddings is that is like when people invite me for an out-of-state you know wedding it's like do i go and because when you go someplace for a wedding, you're just going for the wedding. You're not really going to see them. Right. Right. Sometimes I'm like, should I, should I just wait and visit them after the wedding when I can actually spend some time with them, you know, but then I miss this big event. And sometimes I've really regretted that I didn't go to the wedding. Uh, and then other times I, I don't know, it's, it's sometimes hard to, to decide because you're really, you're not there to really see the person. You're just there to support them on their wedding. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And uh, I felt bad because I had old college roommates come into town for mine and I felt mm-hmm. bad. I'm like, I don't have the time to spend with you. I'm, I'm so busy. Yeah. And, and my family's all here and, it, and I barely had time to, you know, just, and yeah. So you, but I, hopefully people understand, you know, yeah. that yeah, goes either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my friend in Florida is a high school friend. I've always regretted that I didn't go, but it, it, it was a hard decision for me because I don't know anybody else there. And so mm. it's, it's not like if she was, if she was back in our hometown, uh, you know, so I would have like other people to see and hang out with and stuff like that. Um, but I still regret it. I should have gone. And, but I thought, Oh, I'll see her after, you know, and, and be able to do a real trip where I could really see her. 
but I've always regretted that I didn't just do it and, uh, and support her in that. But, uh, but you know, that's the way life is sometimes, uh, luckily everybody understands, but yeah, that's, that's where you have to understand when you're, when you're, when you're going for a wedding, but yeah. uh, it was sweet to see them, uh, be reunited. Or mm-hmm. It was sweet. I was mm-hmm. glad he could be there. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, and then I wrote down why is Fiona the best man? I was equally confused as both of you. I was like, yeah. did I forget something? Where they uh, yeah. were great friends. I know that's why I wanted to pick your brain, Caroline, because you <laughs> seem to know more. You remember more from past episodes, and like you said, I guess you know they they did have a closeness and everything. But ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe she yeah. couldn't get to the was... dress in time. But then she was okay. roommates with them. And so it's yes. kind of like she's she likes she's close with both of them. So I guess yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, stay it in was the middle. Surprising to me, <laughs> but uh, but it was a very sweet wedding, uh, and uh, with Joseph uh, officiating, and uh, yeah, it was really nice. And uh, then uh, we find that so so Faith had gotten an offer from Fiona to come to ne- go to Nashville. Uh, to be a doctor there. And she says that uh, she, she says, I found my purpose with Lily and oh. Lily was in peak form. Oh my God. She was so cute. Oh. And that oh, pink when- dress and everything. It was oh. adorable. She was really, really cute. Oh. Having a little bite of cake. And oh. just yeah, being so excited because all- it was a party. Yeah. That was it a was her age when, so when I was a bride. A flower girl at a wedding the first yeah. wedding i was in i was about her age and i remember like how exciting it was mm-hmm. like getting to have yeah. the cake and getting all that getting to spend time same. with the bride yeah it was so mm-hmm. sweet yeah i was the same i my uh uncle bob and aunt cindy i was probably like eight second mm-hmm. grade ish eight nine so whatever eight um and uh yeah my job was the had a uh, basket of petals and I, you know, distributed them as I walked down the aisle. That was very exciting. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was at the Episcopal Church uh, down in Salt Lake. It was beautiful, beautiful wedding. Uh, and uh, so that was very memorable because, you know, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I had ever been because we don't have in the Mormon church, we don't have traditional processionals and things like that in our weddings. And, uh, and so, you know, that I don't think I never experienced anything like that before, oh. uh, you know, before being in that. So that was really fun. Uh, but then we have, uh, let's see what else. Um, so then Lucas asked Lee to join him about the, for the national park thing. Uh, so that will be fun. And I mean, we just need we 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 need Lee to have even more jobs. <laughs> yeah, he's already mayor. He works with Rosemary. You're running the lumber mill. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> and a dad. Yeah, and a dad. You cannot yeah. be mayor of Hope Valley with just one job. No, like, you need at least the only. Five. The only people who have one job is Elizabeth and Nathan. It seems. Yeah, that's true. I know they're slacking. What's going yeah, on? T- t- <laughs> um, but uh, but <laughs> then uh, Florence sees Nathan and Elizabeth kissing. That so, was you know, so funny. It's out. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to know within five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. I'm glad. I'm glad they had Elizabeth and Nathan like kiss and everything in the penultimate episode, so we could see all the like the newness of everyone finding out about their relationship yeah. in the finale. I thought that was, I thought that yeah. was cute. Yeah, it was nice that they didn't wait till like the last thirty seconds because that would just mm-hmm. be unreasonable, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. ridiculous. <laughs> That's true. I get this show <laughs> on the road. I mean, they were pushing it as it is. <laughs> like, what <laughs> is he waiting for? Uh huh. <laughs> but uh then we have i think fate is taking what life gives you and turning it into what you want mm. so that's nice and then we get this mountie uh, that we've seen before i forget his name you probably oh know yeah him, he's What's he's been name? on Hargraves. before Hargraves? Mm-hmm. 
I've so, seen an actor I like from different Hallmark movies. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always a villain. <laughs> He's the, been the murderer <laughs> a bunch of times, I feel like. Except for, oh, yeah, he has Christmas Detour with Paul Green. And oh, Prince yeah, Scandalous. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. That one. And when he's in good... the birthday wish too. That oh, yeah. oh yeah, the director. Yeah. Or I something. love yeah. birthday wish. Um, so he says that there's something about her late husband. That's so I was talking with a friend and they were saying, I guess the internet is all a buzz that some people think that Jack is going to be found oh or gosh. something. And I'm just like, there's no you guys, way. I spent way too long Sunday night looking through the thousands of comments on Hallmark's post. What do you think about the cliffhanger? And they're like, you better not bring Jack back. You know? <laughs> I mean, oh, we didn't never see a body, but like, I so mean, that's what, imagine back and forth. I, mean, I would die. It would be hilarious. <laughs> what a soap opera that would be. So some people were saying we never saw a body and others were like, no, he came back draped over his horse and he was dead. And now I cannot remember. No, if we, we never saw a draped over we- a horse. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. The casket. Okay. Okay. There was casket. There was the. Uh, was there a casket, Caroline? Mm-hmm. I mean, there was I definitely. So. The, there was definitely I the watched grave. It in a long time. There definitely was the grave. The grave. Um, I can't remember if there I, if there was a casket. I I, I can't. Remember, I thought I remember but... seeing a flag draped something. It, I haven't watched it, it in so, a long time. I know it was so dark. I didn't want to rewatch <sighs> it. It was so. Sad. It definitely it was so on the emotional. Horse. No. Yeah. And but. I mean, Caroline, you agree that that's not happening. No. And so right? much so that it, so many people were so upset that the showrunner did an interview the next day saying, like, Jack's not coming back. Like, Dan's <laughs> yeah, not coming back. Oh, my gosh. Because he said, your late husband. And then he mm-hmm. was like, so it's something that'll probably be resolved in the first five minutes of the next episode. Yeah. That's, what they, episode, that's, that's sure. what they said. It's going to be yeah. like immediately after like the season 12 will start, where I season think... 11 ended. I think that there's either a young person that he helped mentor or whatever that needs help uh, and uh, or a, a not co-worker, yeah. but co-mounty, whatever that needs help. It's somebody like that, or it could possibly be some kind of like house. Cause you know, that, Jack did want to build her house. It could be some kind of property or some kind of memento or something Money like or that. Money or metal, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's most likely that it's a person of some kind. She, they yeah. said, like, it's supposed to bring Nathan and Elizabeth closer. Like, it's, they're going to be working together with this, whatever it uh-huh. is. Yeah. So it's not going to tear them apart. It's going to bring them closer. Yeah. And okay. it's, it's to, to help keep Jack alive for little Jack. Oh. yeah i mean i've been wanting them to 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 love come softly the show a little bit more uh and they did with with a lily this season but uh but yeah if there was some kind of like obviously it wouldn't be a, a child of his but it could be like somebody that he like mentored or helped or some kind of thing like that that there's yeah i hope there's something from the past yeah yeah yeah, and good thing it's not like Nathan. It's not involving Nathan. I thought it was going to involve Nathan. Like I, I kind of suspected something with the Mountie, like for the as the um, cliffhanger. So I was mm-hmm. glad it was like geared towards Elizabeth because I was thinking, oh, Nathan's going to get transferred, or Nathan's going to get something. Like, so. oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah, because I mean, they, but, yeah. Do you agree, Caroline? Though you think it's going to be like a person that he has yeah. a connection with, like that, or maybe like maybe something like they found something of his, or I don't know, like it but could be like good. a a last will and testament or something like that, or a like property. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought too. Like it, it could be some kind of thing, but he seemed more like this is. Serious. I feel like if it was something like that, it wouldn't be like there was some urgency in his tone. Mm-hmm. right it is mm-hmm. something like serious like enough to want to talk to her like did we mm-hmm. did we did we ever meet jack's father he would die he died he died yeah mm-hmm. i think because they could do some shenanigans like that oh he's not really dead <laughs> or i mean not jack but like because we're not they're not going to bring brooke shields back that's not happening no yeah um, maybe something involving her I don't know. I mean, why would they send the Mountie for? Or maybe something with, um, because that's the only other family the members we've we've seen, but besides Tom, right? 
yeah and mom and his mom mm-hmm. yeah so they it has yeah. to be it has to be something money related or a medal or um a state related or i don't know maybe something in the investigation finally i kind of hope it's something with, like, i kind of hope it's something like in, with investigation or something like yeah northern territories or whatever mm-hmm. yeah or to yeah. bring in another person but, would be always fun to mix up the cast with a new but then they're not, they're not gonna like degrade Nate on jack's character like it's gonna be something no no that's why it's not gonna be like a yeah Uh, Mm -hmm. a love child or something you would never Mm -hmm. do that to elizabeth Uh, so that Mm -hmm. that's not going to happen but uh but if it was like somebody that he had mentored or or something like that i could see it that'd be fun yeah Yeah. that would be actually really fun Mm -hmm. but uh but it just i could not believe that there were hardys who actually thought that jack's coming back and so many of them (laughs) especially with dan and aaron's christmas movie they're like oh yeah oh no that was the thing because of the timing of that trailer like little teaser about it and then they're like all of a sudden bring up jack i was like whoa you don't do that to this i finally nathan and elizabeth finally get together and now i mean daniel listening has not is it doesn't seem like he's been very busy but i just don't see how you how you could i mean not only because it would be very soapy and very silly to bring yeah. him back but also it would just completely ruin all the all the plot that you know because then what's elizabeth going to do like i know, you know all this would make, it just would make no sudden, sense yeah. yeah it would be terrible. sorry jack i'm in love with somebody <laughs> yeah. else like go <laughs> <What do you laughs> <do? laughs> but no, it, triangle. Yeah. yeah another one <laughs> well it's like i'm kind of I just need her to settle down. I feel bad yeah. watching her kiss different guys. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just have her, let's have her settle down. Yeah. Let's, let's just be, a- get married. Erin did say she yeah. wants to see Elizabeth married for one, more than one episode. So yeah. I, I think know. it has to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We need like a real marriage in this show. Mm. <laughs> besides, yeah. besides uh, Lee and Rosemary. We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. It's the Hallmarkies Merch Store. Are you looking for that perfect gift for the postable, hardy, or hallmarky in your life? What about getting that t-shirt or hoodie that will help you stand out at your next holiday party? Now is the time to check out the Hallmarkies merch store. Full of festive designs by artists like Jessica Miller, Carrie from Hallmark Comics, and more. You can even have more than just shirts, but totes, cell phone cases, notebooks, mugs, and more. And it isn't just Hallmark. We have designs for Anna Green Gables, Man from Snowy River, The Nanny, and more. Every purchase at the merch store goes to help support the podcast and allows us to make the great content you know and love. There are frequent sales, so go to tpublic.com slash stores slash Hallmarkies or see the link in the description. That's tpublic.com slash stores slash Hallmarkies. For just a little bit about the season as a whole, we kind of did a little bit, but uh i mean for me i still think that they had an opportunity to really expand the show and expand the characters with lucas and elizabeth but they decided to not go there and for this like mounty teacher storyline you know that is when calls the heart i think this season was extremely effective and uh, you know it's it to me it's kind of like oh well you had the the opportunities to kind of subvert things a little bit and do something different but if you're not going to do something different then what you did was a very good version of what you do if that makes sense uh, and so yeah i mean i thought pretty much all the subplots worked they were entertaining there was nothing that was like a super bore you know, like some of the subplots have been in the past, like things with the railroad and, you know, just certain plots I could care less about. I mean, I didn't really care that much about the resort, but they didn't spend that much time on it. And it was usually kind of involved with this, like who was who shot uh, Lucas. So that made it a little bit more engaging than just like business, business, business. And yeah. uh, and I, I liked pretty much all the guests that they had. I liked seeing Tom again. That was a highlight of the season i really loved uh rosemary this season she was hilarious and so fun yeah. her and bill that was a big win 
uh, that team up, I think. And, uh, you know, May and Hickam, that was really fun. I could have used even more of them together. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, and I, I, I would really love for certain characters they brought on for just a couple episodes to like come back. Like I really enjoyed seeing Annie, Annie. I really enjoyed Tom. Uh, and, uh, so I, I love seeing Julie again. I, so some of those characters I would love if they brought back. But overall, yeah. for what you want out of One Calls the Heart, I think this was a really satisfying season. I think that they gave Lucas quite a bit to do. He's, If anything, he was more interesting this season than when he was just like Elizabeth's Arm candy. person. Like not, he, they, they were just so boring with him that season. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. What do you think, Mary? Yeah, so um, all those other things that you mentioned were really, really made it more rich, right? A, more de a deep season because when you boil down the actual issues that took forever to figure out, like who shot him, figure mm -hmm. out this resort, and will Nathan, will they, won't they, you know, when will Nathan and Elizabeth, those took episodes. But throughout, we had these beautiful other characters and their storylines. Yeah. I completely agree. I'd love to see more of Bill and Rosemary with another mystery on their hands. They are so good together. Love, love, love um, the Faith and Lily thing going on and the May and Michael Hickam and all the intricacies of family and figuring out their, love that. So all those deeper things with everything else helped me get through the, ah, oh, these other things aren't getting resolved yet sort of issues. So yeah, they did really drag fun, fun out that, that Nathan. Yeah, like, the other thing. Come on, man. It, yeah. <laughs> they even admitted it by the end. Like, you know, Rosemary. Yeah, you're you're slower, slower than, than the last <laughs> January. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what about you, Caroline? How do you feel overall about the season? I thought I thought it was a real solid season. Like I was expecting, I wasn't expecting Lily and all that. Like so, I really enjoyed seeing Lily and Faith. That was a surprise, mm -hmm. and I love Mike and May. And I just thought it felt very old when calls a heart to yeah. me. And yeah. I, I love all the community. And I really did enjoy the Who Shot Lucas storyline. And um, that kept me engaged with that. And I love seeing Lucas in a different role besides just Elizabeth's yeah. you know, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the slow pace of the, the um, slow burn for Elizabeth and Nathan. Like, I thought that was something different appropriate or to not yeah. like rush into it yeah because like I mean, elizabeth did break his heart like and like you know so it, it made sense for them to be slow like it, i think it would have been a, a slap to the face to the lucas fans if they did go fast you know so i think it was yeah, i mean but it's kind of like bill said they're slow and then there's <laughs> there's you too slow mm -hmm. uh -huh. then it's like and what I they guess knew I, they knew, though. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, but say now they brought it, man. <laughs> like he did tell her he loved her, but like I did, I don't know. Like I feel like he never really like tried to court her. I kind of wish that he had like been. I don't know. I just felt like he's just been so like I I, I just want him to like take a little bit more initiative you know and he finally did by these last two episodes but uh but i'm excited to see in love nathan, like, you know yeah like date yeah. nathan like yeah 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 mm -hmm. absolutely uh, and uh you know you're not gonna let it slip through your fingers this time you're gonna make sure mm -hmm. you make it happen uh, we need but, dates uh, in season 12 mm -hmm, definitely yeah. yes we do we yeah. do, and I, 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 I would think that next season, well, this one will get a wet, uh, their wedding. I would think, mm -hmm. yeah. I know because so. once you know, you know, like, and they what know are you now. Waiting for mm -hmm. back yeah. then, what would Especially... be the big thing delaying it? You know, what kind of writing would, yeah, would mean it's delayed? Yeah, the only time they delayed things back then is if it's like if you were really young and so you were trying to save up, you know, like. Uh, some so they'd have a really long engagement or like if you know they were going to war or something something like that you'd have but there's no reason for elizabeth and, and Nathan i kind of wanted to wait like i kind of wanted maybe like this is back early seasons like nathan wanted to adopt ally and he couldn't adopt ally unless he was married you know uh -huh. so that um, would have been a fun like 
okay, Elizabeth's marrying him because she wants to adopt Allie and oh. then all that, but they can't do that now. Didn't he eventually adopt her though? Yeah, yeah. I said I wanted that like back in like season seven. Like that oh, would have been fun yeah. to see. Mm-hmm. But now yeah. he's adopt he adopted her anyway. But yeah. No. Well, there we go. That is season eleven and the finale of when calls the heart we want to hear what all of the hardies think what did you think of of this episode and of the season as a whole let us know in the comment section or on twitter and uh, thanks so much ladies for doing this with me i really appreciate it it's been super fun it's over. I, know, I know i can't now. believe it <laughs> <laughs> it goes by so fast uh, but I really appreciate it. And uh, Caroline, where can people follow you? On Twitter at me to Caroline R. And what about you, Mary? I'm on Twitter at underscore Mary Richards. Instagram is Mary Richards Reports and Facebook reporter Mary Richards. Great. And you can find me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. So check that out. Also make sure that you're following the podcast, Hallmarkies Podcast. And at Hallmarkies Pod, all of our social media. And if you are listening on iTunes, please leave your ratings and reviews. That really helps us five stars. And if you are watching on YouTube, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it so much. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers. And uh, so we just need that little, little bump. So please subscribe. And then we also have our patron group, which is the biggest way you can support us. And you get exclusive content, bonus reviews. You can be part of our watch alongs and other fun bonuses. So please check out the Patreon and we have the merch store where we have tons of Hardy's inspired merch, including some new designs from just this season. So take a look at that. And uh, thanks so much again, ladies. And we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.